In today's video, we're going to be talking about cell organelles. I did make a video on this topic, but I wanted to make a newer one which was a bit more animated and clearer. Here we have a typical animal cell. We're going to look at the cell organelles which are inside this cell. So firstly, cells are the basic units of life. A cell in biology is this membrane-bound unit which contains the fundamental molecules of life and of which all living things are composed. An organelle, or a cell organelle, is a subcellular structure that has one or more specific jobs to perform in the cell. It's kind of similar to how an organ works in the body. Each cell organelle has a different job to do. So the organelles we're going to talk about today are the nucleus, the cell membrane, the cytoplasm, mitochondria, smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi apparatus, lysosomes, peroxisomes and ribosomes. So let's talk about the cell membrane first. The cell membrane is what contains the organelles of the cell. It encompasses or surrounds the cell contents and it closes it off. The cell membrane consists of a phospholipid bilayer, which has various transport and channel proteins dotted along the membrane to allow the movement of various molecules and waste products in and out of the cell. The cytoplasm is not really an organelle, but it's a fluid that all the organelles are bathed in. It contains proteins, sugars, and its fluid nature ensures that the contents of the cell are not fixed in one position. Here we have the nucleus. This is the largest organelle within the animal cell. It contains a nucleolus, which can be seen here. The nucleus controls the cell's activity. It also contains the genetic information which is organised into these structures called chromosomes. The nucleus also contains ribosomes. This structure here is called the mitochondria. It's considered to be the powerhouse of the cell because respiration, which is a process that makes energy in the form of ATP, occurs in the mitochondria. The Golgi body is this structure here. It's responsible for processing and packing proteins and lipids produced by the cell. These black dots, which you can see here and are dotted around the cell, these are called ribosomes. There are thousands of these ribosomes found around the cells and they are responsible for producing proteins. The smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum are these structures here. They are both structures made from folded membranes. They are the same except the rough endoplasmic reticulum has these ribosomes dotted around it. You can see it by these black dots which are covering the structure. The rough endoplasmic reticulum is responsible for packing and processing proteins which are made by the ribosomes. The ribosomes make the proteins and, and then they bind onto the rough endoplasmic reticulum to process the protein they have made. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum does not have any ribosomes attached. It's responsible for the synthesis of lipids, phospholipids and steroids. This structure here is called a lysosome. It contains various digestive enzymes to engulf old organelles, food and bacteria. And, and this final structure we're going to talk about today is called a peroxisome. And this structure here contains enzymes that get rid of peroxides from the cell. So these are all the cell organelles I wanted to cover in this video. If you have any questions on any other topics or if you'd like me to cover any other videos, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.